Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. Today we are reviewing the Still MS-180 Chainsaw. This was from the Still shop down at Prospects in South Australia. Has this uh, manual here that we'll just have a look through. And uh, comes with your tools. At the moment they come with a free chain purchased some bar oil, I have some uh, Penrite uh, fuel for it as well, two stroke oil and this is a 50 to 1 ratio chainsaw, I previously had the 25 to 1 in the uh, B Oz one, I sold that one, this is $2.99 uh, for the MS180, they're $2.50 for the 170 models and uh, the next models up with the tallest uh, are about 550 and uh, decided on this one here for chopping some logs and some firewood this is a homeowner series uh, they're the new models uh, that are out so mainly plastic and metal and uh, is 16 inch uh, bar has a protector here comes like this at the showroom already pre-done start up and uh, put oil in there it's been tain chain tensioned uh, it's uh, only two days old hasn't got any use yet this is just a standard model um, fairly simple to use there's no electronic um, stuff inside of it it's easy to work on if in the middle of nowhere they told me less things can go wrong we have the serial number what it is and you get um i think it's a year warranty and the first three months you can get a service and uh, this is what it looks like on this side here you have the fuel uh, bar oil level here you use the tool to get this open and uh, use your fingers if you need to as well. This is the fuel. We have our pull start here. The chain brake is on. We have the controls here as well. You got the handle. Just saying the decibels, it's about 80 and uh, 98 there to uh, move this down you got to pull the in the controls and push it down to cold start it which is what you do at the bottom there and you pull the cord until it burbles and then what you do is lift it up to warm and then you should automatically push the handle down to run it should stay on you have your filter under here unscrew that to lock we'll get the tool we'll have a look at the filter you have your warning labels and your plastic handle you've got two bolts here to put the chain on underneath here what it looks like under there and you have your bar oil come out the top here. It hasn't actually leaked uh, while sitting on the bench at all. My old one just constantly leaked out of the, the bottle. It's a very nice expensive chainsaw. It's very much a quality product. your tools in here to adjust your chain idle and your idle speed so you have these wrenches here that everyone gets when they get a chainsaw we also have this little screw and uh, find out where the holes are under here this is for your idle so you would put this through here 
and you would uh, adjust the idle speed and you would use this wrench here for the spark plug and uh, the bolts here so they go on there so you can check if it's tightened it's fairly tightened and underneath the front here we have a tensioner so you would use that and turn it uh, clockwise to tighten it we have the uh, chain here size here Let's have a look so 40 centimeter 16 inch um, 55 it's a 9.3 Two millimeter, three eighths. Uh, it's one point one mil. And the model numbers here. These chains are pre-heat uh, stretched as well, so then it's pretty much you can put the chain on there, and it's already pretty much stretched to its uh, maximum length. And uh, heat treated different size chains uh, you can get these are about $40 got it free with it so we have our bar oil here that's a synthetic plus these were about um, $10.45 or so it's made in Germany to one litre um, I'll go and uh, start it up now for the first time and uh, has nice writing on it um, go have a look through this book here just quickly go through the pages just because it explains what things mean A lot of safety stuff. Carry okay, chainsaw backwards and you know, leave the brake on. And um, starting it on the ground, you wear your gloves, all sorts of things here. Um, storing it, drain everything from it pretty much. And uh, when you use the chainsaw and you want to put it away, just loosen the chain because when it's hot, it will shrink back down and can damage the, the saw. Stuff about kickback. How to cut the, the log and working with heights, cutting limbs. How to cut out the wood. Pretty new to chainsaw stuff, so I'll be learning how to cut wood. Which way the trees fall, how to sharpen the chain, and how to maintain it. How to put the chain on, set the tension, mixing the fuel, only use the 90 octane or higher, and different um, fuels you can use is the uh, still uh, HP Ultras or the um, other mixes that you get with them. There's the HP Super, HP Ultra, and normal HP. And uh, 50 to 1 ratio here, so if you're doing 5 litres of fuel, you need to put 100 mils of oil in. Storing fuel only make up enough for 30 days. Good to break it in and stuff as well. 
draining your tanks. Don't run the chain, solve it out chain lube. Check the uh, nozzles working. Test the chain brake works. Starting the uh, chainsaw. Starting the chainsaw on your knees or on the ground. Different versions with the eco start. Operating instructions. Cleaning the uh, filters. Adjusting the carburetor. Cleaning out the spark plug uh, arrest screen. Spark plug gap. Storing the machine, checking and replacing the chain sprocket, chain sharpening, and the maintenance uh, checklist here. sides and parts pretty much of what they are here numbered specifications here on different models of chainsaw it's a 31.8 uh, uh, with a 38 mil cylinder bore piston is 28 it's 1.5 kilowatt 2 horsepower 9000 rpm 28000 rpm idle so ignition is the Bosch or NGK with a 0.5 mil gap. It's 250 mil uh, petrol capacity and 145 mil uh, oil capacity. This is 3.9 kilos. Uh, also has uh, different bar guide links that you can put on there. 16 or you can go 18. Or 14, depending what you want. Uh, chain to bracket 16. This is what's underneath. Taken off, you have to do that to the lower setting. This is what it looks like here. We have our paper filter. We have all the little parts to run the chainsaw. The piston here. Got our spark plug here. Electronic bits. Exhaust. That's pretty much it. Cover goes back on. This lock position doesn't come off. That's good. We'll start it up now. Then we'll start it up now. Pretty easy. Thanks for watching, subscribe.